OK, let's turn now to Ann Arbor tonight where teachers sounded off on a severe budget shortfall at the school board meeting. We are teachers. We are not the problem. We are teachers. We are not the problem. Now, they may not be the problem, but their jobs are on the line. The district has to cut its way out of a $25 million deficit. More than half of it blamed on a clerical error. 7 Action News reporter Ruta Olsenida live in Ann Arbor tonight where the board is up against a state deadline. Ruta, what's the latest? Yeah, well, we just stepped out of that board meeting. It is still happening. Started at 7 p.m. Board members, educators going back and forth asking, how does the district fix this $25 million budget deficit? The board suggesting layoffs, educators saying not so fast. You heard it there. They were protesting before the meeting even began, and then they made their way inside for public comment. Get this, 140 people speaking, hours of public comment, all with a resounding theme. Find another way to make up the shortfall. So how did the school district get here? School officials say the $25 million deficit stems from a loss of student enrollment over the last few years, an increase of staff, and an increase in staffing costs for employees. There's also a clerical error you mentioned, Mike, that put the school back 14 million, and that is still under investigation. Tonight, a five year financial plan was discussed with different options, and still no decision. Four hours into the meeting, discussions still happening right now. I mean, we don't want to cut buses. We could save nine million there, but we don't want to say no buses for kids. That would be terribly inequitable. I mean, somebody said tonight, let's get rid of sports. I heard some moans in the crowd. You could save money there. I don't think people want to do that. I mean, it's just a matter of the reality is a big part of our budget is labor. Well, we find ourselves in a self-inflicted budget crisis that the, the board and the district has created over the years. And now we fear that teachers are going to be asked to pay the price for the mistakes made by the budgeting and by the approval of the budget process. We continue to be excluded with each week that passes in this district where you all fail to release the financial data that you claim reveals the necessity of cutting the 25 million in one year. That is a false claim. There's other information out there and these people deserve to know that. So what the board is still going to vote on tonight into the night is just moving forward with those layoffs. No numbers of how many people just yet. Clearly, these educators, though, they want to find another way to make up those millions of dollars. We're going to head back into the meeting. Make sure to follow along on air and online for what decision they come up with. Live in Ann Arbor, I'm Ruta Olsenida, 7 Action News. Okay, contentious to say the least. Thank you, Ruta.